One of the best selling Heartland Mallard travel trailers is right here, folks. This is the 2023 Mallard M26. And why does it sell so well? Well, A, it's absolutely beautiful, and B, it is a great layout. It's time tested. You have the super slide with the sofa and dinette, and you have campsite double over double bunks with the outside kitchen underneath. But for me, it's a lot of the little things that they add in the Mallard that really makes a big difference, especially at this price point. One of those being the kitchen. Take a look at how much prep space you actually have here or countertop space in general so you know you'll see that you have all this space back here which may not be great for prep but what i do like about this is it gives you a spot for like a coffee maker toaster some of those other appliances that oftentimes you just don't have counter space for you have it here in the m26 you will also see that because it is a thermal formed countertop or a pressed laminate it allows them to undermount the stainless steel sink and then they give you the high rise faucet there so it's bit easier to wash and rinse dishes and then again kind of giving you that prep space you have a little bit kind of right over here but then you also get to utilize the cooktop because it is recessed with that glass cover on there so again just great kitchen space overall i really like the backsplash they put in it's uh kind of contrast a little bit of the lighter colors they have in here and so I do think that that looks really nice and they have a decent amount of storage in the kitchen too more than you would normally see starting as soon as you walk in right over here open this up for you so you can take a look and I like this personally because I think it's a great spot to be able to store some shoes down below then you get a little bit of extra storage there for whatever else you may need and oftentimes we're missing that shoe storage in RVs you also have storage up top with your uh, double cabinet doors here, nice dark oil rub bronze pulls, microwave, and then hood above your cooktop as you would expect. And then when we look at the storage down below, you'll get your two full extension ball bearing drawers. One of the things I like about Mallard is that the drawers are completely finished. You don't see any exposed wood there, uh, which I like that finished look. And then underneath the sink is additional storage and there is enough space there for a trash can. Now as we kind of round out the kitchen, you will see your eight cubic foot fridge freezer. This is a gas absorption fridge, meaning that it can run on either electric or propane. Your standard RV refrigerator, basically. And then uh, the cool thing about this one, though, is it has the doodle station on there. So it, it's a chalk paint. So you can use it as a chalkboard, whether it's you or the kids. It'll just give you a kind of a little bit of something extra to do, which uh, is kind of neat. Then we move over a little bit further. We get into the kind of pantry or storage closet. The thing I like about this is you do have removable shelves. So if you need to change size, you're able to do that. And it can, again, kind of double as pantry if you need extra food space or a space for the kids' clothes. Now, as you'll see, you have double over double bunks right here in the back, the privacy curtain, and then additional storage space underneath, which is great because, again, if you have to use that as pantry, you still have a spot to be able to store some clothing right down there. Before we step into the bedroom, I do, or sorry, the bathroom, I do just want to show you the door. I really like the doors they use on the Mallard. You know, it just kind of has like that farm style. It just shows you a little bit of that extra detail they're putting into it. So I certainly uh, appreciate the aesthetic piece of it. Then when we step into the bathroom here, I'll take a seat on the toilet just to kind of show you. You know, I'm six foot, a little over 200 pounds. I have plenty of room for my shoulders as well as my legs. It's a pretty spacious bathroom, especially for this type of floor plan. You have the corner vanity here with storage underneath, mirrored medicine cabinet up top, and of course, your tank monitoring panel is in here as well. And then when I step into the tub, again, at six foot tall, I can fully stand up here. I don't have to bend my neck down thanks to that skylight. Uh, I can turn sideways, wash up, you have, again, at six foot tall, plenty of room right there. And I like the fact it's a tub because if you have littles, you know, a lot of times they may not be ready for a shower yet. So you can bathe them nice and easily there in the tub. Now, making our way back up to the front here in the super slide, you'll notice, of course, the main furniture, and that will be the dinette as well as the sofa. Now, one of the things I like about the Mallard line in general when it comes to the dinette and the furniture is they have what they call select a style. And basically what that is, is one side you can see is lighter, the other side will be darker, and it will be the same for the bottom cushions as well. So it kind of gives you an option of what you want for the seating. Do you want everything to be dark? Do you want kind of like we had it set up where you just have the, you know, bottoms dark and the lights or the tops light or 
Do you want the whole thing light? I just like that it gives you that versatility, lets you change up the look without any added expense. Because as we know, remodeling an RV can get pretty expensive, so this just makes it a lot simpler. Now the table itself does drop down into a bed. I personally like this style table. I know it doesn't look as nice as a pedestal one where you have like the pedestals in the center, but it is a lot more sturdy because it's attached to the wall. So it's not as likely to tip and have things fall off on you. You will also see that they removed the carpet and in place put in this marine grade uh, woven vinyl flooring, which cleans up super easily. So I like that in case the kids are spilling a little messy and you have some excellent storage right there underneath the seats. Uh, in the side fascia right here, you'll see this is lit, which looks pretty nice. So uh, they have LED lights in both sides. I think that's, again, just one of those nice little touches. And speaking of lighting, if you take a look at the ceiling, you'll see they have two rows of LED lights here to keep things nice and bright. And they were able to do that and still use their uh, racetrack AC system. So you have you know, basically two rows of ductwork in here as well. So it's nice and bright and has the ability to keep you quite cool. Now in the front of the slide, as I mentioned, is the sofa. This sofa is a little unique in the way that it pulls out into a bed because what you actually have right here in the bottom is this storage. Now, when this pulls out, you will see that this actually lifts up. This is your cushion. So you'll take that out, put it on top, and then that kind of jackknifes down. But what I really like about this is if you don't plan on using this for sleeping, you can remove this cushion, just leave it at home, and you have all that additional storage, which is a great space for anything you need to bring with you. So I kind of like that it, it's kind of a two for one, in my opinion. Uh, it just kind of gives you, again, a lot more versatility than what a lot of sofas bring to the table. And then before we head into the bedroom, of course, you have the wall, which kind of divides everything. Uh, a couple things I like here. One is the space they give you for a TV. A lot of manufacturers will try to border it and it's kind of closed off. Here you have a lot of space for a larger TV. You also see the HDMI input you can plug in the back. I like the fact it's HDMI. I know that seems minor, but you would be shocked uh, how few companies actually have moved on to HDMI. That, of course, is run right into the back of this multimedia center, and it's a pass-through. So if you have like a Blu-ray player or you know a gaming station or something for the kids, PlayStation 5, whatever it may be, you can set it up, plug the HDMI in right through there, and it will run back into the TV. Something else I like is this hidden storage compartment right here. It's kind of nice, something that, uh, you know, again, a lot of manufacturers just don't have, uh, but you can, you know, hide something in there. It's just kind of, you know, tuck it away. And then underneath that is the fireplace. Now, something else I like about this too, um, uh, of course, the fireplace real quick, I'll hit on that, but that is a space heater, which is great, not just for looks. But what I really like is the fact that they elevated this off the ground. I know it seems minor, but here's why I like it. Because again, I talked about shoe storage. I can take my shoes, my slippers, whatever off, set it right underneath there. And it's just one of those things that is small, but super convenient. So I love that they have that capability. Just so you know, there is a switch on the other side here, and this will switch between the fireplace and the AC. So uh, this is a 30 amp, so you can use that switch. So that way if it's hot, obviously you run the AC. If it's cooler, you can flip it. That way you can run the fireplace. When we move up into the bedroom, you get sliding doors here. So you get that added privacy. King bed here in the master bedroom as well. So you can see how big this bed is. You have wardrobes on both sides, storage across the top there as well plus a vent right here in the bedroom in case you need some additional airflow. As we take a look at the outside of the Mallard M26, one of the things you'll notice right away is the gorgeous three-quarter front cap they have on here. It's very aggressive looking. I really like what they've done. LED lights laid in there too, and kind of that full windshield look up front gives you that aesthetic without any chance for additional leaks. You'll also see up front is a power tongue jack, of course, making it easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. And behind that, your two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. You'll also get a battery disconnect right next to the rails there for the battery and a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly in case you plan on taking this in some colder climates. So we make our way around to the side. A couple quick things about the pass-through. One, you have the oversized baggage door. You have a huge baggage door on here, which I love. Also, slam latch, and it is 
uh, quality built components. It's not going to be plastic. You have actual steel components here and a magnetic catch. So that way, if the kids come and they pull this down, it's not going to break the little plastic clip. And if you take a look inside, it's what they call the King Kong size storage, folks. You have huge pass through storage in there, which I absolutely love. Right down underneath are your power stabilizer jacks. Now the controls will actually be on the off camp side. You'll have one control up front for the front two, one control in the back for the rear two. And if we take a look up top, you will see the Solera power awning. Couple things I like about this one. One, the fact that right here at the base is where the LED light strip is. So it doesn't matter if your awning is partially extended like it is right now, fully extended or retracted, you can still use that LED light strip. You also have an easy adjust pitch on here. So whether that's for water runoff, we just need to adjust it for the shade. It's very easy to adjust and can roll it right back up without having to mess with those arms. You can also see the more ride step above steps, very solid step system right here. Uh, aluminum treads, so they're not going to rust. Now, I would have liked to have seen a little bit bigger grab handle just because with these steps, it comes out a little bit further and it is a little bit of a reach, but that is again something you can add easily enough aftermarket. Now, one of the big, big things when it comes to Mallard that I really like is the construction piece, and that is the fact that they use Asdel Composite. Now, most manufacturers, especially this price point, will use Luan, but the Asdel is going to be lighter weight, which of course definitely helps when we're talking about towing, uh, and also it won't absorb any moisture, so you won't get the delamination, which are the big bubbles a lot of times you see in some of the older RVs. Uh, it also won't have any of the off-gassing that Luan can have, so if you're sensitive to gases, you won't have to worry about that. Some huge, huge advantages to using Asdel, one of my favorite parts about the Mallard line. Uh, make our, back, uh, our way back a little bit further here. Uh, Freshwater inlet will be here as well as your uh, electrical outlet there. You can see the wide track suspension that they use. It's essentially going to be uh, you know, your spread axle system. And the advantage of that is it gives better towability because it helps to reduce sway as you're going down the road. The outside kitchen is in the very back here. I like the decorative backsplash that they have, some good countertop space, uh, the sink so you can wash your hands. It's a little tough to get to, you know, because this is, your face is kind of right here, but the fact you have water access on the campsite uh, is really nice. And as I'll show you in a second, you actually have the outside shower very accessible as well. Of course, two uh, pull out two burner cooktop right here. And then my favorite part, the outside fridge. And again, you're able to have this because we have the bunks on that camp side. Now I'm gonna come around to the very back. Uh, you do have the propane quick connect there underneath. Mounted to your bumper is your spare tire right there. It's that outside shower I talked about with hot and cold water access. Again, very accessible. Most of the time it is on the off camp side. This makes it quite easy especially if you have a fur baby you need to wash down, you're good to go right there. And then up top, you have a couple prep systems. You can see your backup camera prep as well as the ladder prep. So if you need to uh, be able to walk up on the fully walkable roof, you can have that ladder installed. Folks, again, the M26 is an absolute killer family floor plan, but if you're looking for something maybe a little bit bigger, maybe a few more bunks, well, check out this next one, the Pioneer BH330, because you'll dig it.